Man, I cannot wait until this movie is out and this is all over. Late Ill Kid at One Youngster, bringing you that street geek and nerd soul. And what's up? I'm here with my girl, Lisa. Hey. And the topic we're going to touch on real quick is Ghostbusters receiving preferential treatment. Now, the reason I ask this is because lately there's been a lot of people jumping on each other in comments from Facebook to Twitter to YouTube just for not liking the movie or not wanting to see the movie. Now, before the Ghostbusters trailer came out, Lisa, let me ask you this. What did you think a trailer's job was? I guess I never really thought about it, but when, you know, of course, when I see a trailer, yeah, trailers will usually pique my interest about a movie or kind of give me a, a good idea of what a movie is going to be about. So you would say that a trailer is supposed to tell you what to expect when you pull money out of your pocket and give it to a theater? Yeah. Okay, so before March, people were allowed to see a trailer and say, you know what, this joint looks like trash, I'm not going. But when the Ghostbusters trailer came out, Sony has done a wonderful job of making people feel like if you don't like the film, there's no critical merit to it. The only reason you don't like it is because you're sexist. So now people are saying, well, don't worry about what the trailer looks like, just go see it anyway. <laughs> and I don't know if people know if that's how things work. You know, you know, this food looks nasty. Go in and eat it anyway. Yeah. Or some <laughs> like, I, well, I don't really like sushi. That's okay. Just go anyway. <laughs> it's like it's like this this car or this this building looks unsafe. I'm gonna go in there anyway. It might be safe. You never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> But it's funny, before this film came out, whether it was Terminator Salvation, whether it was Ter Terminator Genesis, whether it was Robocop, any of these reboots, um, Total Recall, it looked like crap, we said it looked like crap, we didn't go. You know what I'm saying? Fantastic Four, any of that, we didn't go. But uh, all of a sudden, with Ghostbusters, we, it, we, we need to give it a shot. Just give it a shot. Just because it's women. Now, I... Isn't that reverse sexism? Uh, man, let's not, we're not even going to get on the sexist part. I just want to get on the part of the job that Sony has done to make people feel like they have to see this movie because if they don't, then they are in fact sexist. So due to that, Sony has gotten a lot of preferential treatment. So reviews are starting to come out and people are starting to say, oh, well, it's kind of good. It's kind of bad. You know, it's not, it's not all that. And they're giving it, they're giving it a higher score than what the review reflects. Yeah. So say for instance, someone will say, yeah, there were funny parts, but I didn't like anything else about the movie. I didn't like the special effects. I didn't like the, uh, the references to nostalgia. I didn't like any of that. Four and a half stars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I didn't like anything about the movie except a couple of the jokes from the ladies, you know, but <laughs> here's this is a four and a half star review. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, the thing is, people need to realize there's a lot of critics out there that see these movies for free. Folks go out there and have to pay their hard-earned money. Sometimes a night of the movies can end up being $50, $60, $70. And like, I saw, I saw a lady that took some kids to a movie the other day. Her concessions alone was $55. So you're telling people to shell out hard-earned money for something just to take a chance? It doesn't work like that. It's never worked like that. It doesn't work like that with anything else. If you saw, if you went to a dentist, you know, a dentist office, and it looked all wrecked up and beat up, and everybody was telling you it wasn't good, you saw commercials of the dentist, it looked horrible, and you were like, well, let me take a chance. Go ahead and put a drill in my mouth. It doesn't work like that. You can't look at something that looks horrible and then say, well, I'll just put out my money anyway. It doesn't work like that. And Sony has created this atmosphere where you almost have to see it because if you don't, you're going to be called sexist. Oh, you don't have to see it. They can call you sexist all day. You don't have to see it. They just going to call you sexist and it's going to be what it is. Yeah, guys, look, I'm going to tell you for real. I've talked to multiple people who have seen the film. We've already seen the film. They put out they put out like 30 something clips. There's been four trailers. There's been a full scene release. We've seen the film. You know what I'm saying? If this was if this was 
Batman v Superman, if this was, you know, Fantastic Four, if this was any other movie, we would have said, dude, we've seen the film. But for some reason, this Ghostbusters is getting preferential treatment, even to the point where I heard someone on an on a internet show on YouTube making a statement of, you know, hurting people's feelings. And I was like, what? Nobody ever says anything about hurting people's feelings with other films, but with Ghostbusters, it seemed they've, they've created this great atmosphere where they're enjoying like this, this soft, you know, this soft, protected, cushy bubble where you can't really, you can't really fire or flame on this film like you want to, or not even say if you want to, if just saying this movie is straight up forgettable, don't go. You can't even say that because if you do, then of course. Well, this this is the thing. They they had this idea that this is gonna be this wonderful, fabulous film because first of all, you know, uh, so many people know about Ghostbusters and so many people love Ghostbusters. So they're like, oh, this is gonna be great. We have this great idea and you know, we're gonna do a reboot and it's just gonna be fantastic. And then when the trailers came out and everybody was like, okay you know they started <laughs> panicking and saying no but it's going to be great it's it's got to be great it's going to be so then they come out with more trailers and then they come out with more you know commercials showing more and more parts of the film like no 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 no, no. it's going to be great I, it's going to be you know so it's like they're they're trying to force it to be great and sometimes <laughs> it's just not you know and you can't i don't care how many different scenes you show me if anything that's making it worse because now you're proving to me that it's it's really not impressive. You've shown me a million and five clips of the movie. Some of them are smile worthy. Some of them might be a little giggle worthy, you know. But I, when I saw the first clip, I kind of just looked and I was just like, oh, you know, I wasn't. I don't know. I just and when I heard about Ghostbusters coming out, I was excited because I like Ghostbusters. I really like Ghostbusters, and so I was excited about it coming out. I mean, as a woman, I wasn't like any more or any less excited about it being a team of women. I just wanted it to be good. Now, am I disappointed as a woman that it looks not so great? Of course I am. I'm really disappointed because then there may be some people that come out and say, oh, well, you know, they shouldn't use women. Yeah. I haven't heard and anybody say that. Yeah, that's not that's the case. That's a whole other issue. Yeah, I've, in all of my travels, I've never heard anyone say, I don't like the fact that it's women. Well, no, I've, I've met one person out of everyone I've talked to on Facebook, Twitter, in person, whatever. I've met one single solitary person that didn't like the fact that it's women. Everyone else had the fact, the biggest issue with this movie is that it's not a continuation. That's the biggest issue. You know what I'm saying? The biggest issue is that people want to see the movie, you know, go forward. And the film isn't going forward. They're, they're rebooting, but still trying to like, ape a lot of the material from the first one, which is just, it just doesn't work out for people that love the, love the franchise. So that's where most of the hate is coming from. And then for the fact that it doesn't match the style of the original film. Yeah. It, doesn't, um, it doesn't match the feel of it. It makes it look like they're doing a crappy job of doing um, a continuation, but then they still want to say, oh, but it's not a continuation. Well, stop using stuff. Stop, stop saying 30 years ago, first of all. From the very beginning, it says 30 years ago. I got to stop you right there. If a film starts with 30 years ago, the idea is <laughs> referring to another film the idea is that you're going to be furthering this story you're going to be continuing this lore if we name our son michael jr you assume that there is a michael senior <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's the deal y'all yo on the real we all know that ghostbusters is getting some preferential treatment but everyone's afraid to say it. And if you do say it, you're sexist or there's something wrong with you, you're misogynistic. Look, there is nothing wrong with not liking the film. Am I saying it's the worst film that's ever been made? No, it's probably sitting at around, out of five stars, it's well, probably sitting at around two. You don't know because you haven't seen it. So no. you can't, you can't I, rate the film. No, I haven't. That's why I say it's probably. The fi because I've talked to people that have seen it. I've read the reviews. I've seen all the clips and everything that are supposed to let so everything that i see the film will probably end up being around two two and a half which is a middle of the road film 
But the thing is, people were waiting to see like a Star Wars, Civil War level film, like a high quality return to form. And that's not what they're getting. You know, you're getting a forgettable, another forgettable reboot. We, well, we don't know that because we haven't seen the film. True, true. We're getting another forgettable set of trailers and clips and scenes. <laughs> they all come from the movie. <laughs> And before you even say it, no, I'm not ashamed of myself as a woman. <laughs> but anyway, of course, VA, what up? LA, what up? RVA, you got my heart. And of course, I'm here with my girl, Lisa. Hey. That's right, y'all. Chop it up in the comments below. I know there's going to be some hate coming. I'm, I'm good for it. I will be moderating the comments and I will be flaming back at y'all. And anyone who agrees with me, I understand the film is probably just a normal film that's just really not that good. But of course, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace!